and all right oh, hello melanie how are you um, i'm doing good 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 um so this will probably be the last meeting that i have to record though um we are going to do our meetings a little different so we're going to talk about that tonight and we're going to do them in a different format so um I don't, I don't, I guess that's what we have to figure that out too, because this is going to be a new format. We're going to do um, Zoom live on stream it in a Zoom onto the team page. So then people can like ask questions in that and all that stuff. So we have to figure that out. I did finally figure out how to no. get it. On. Excuse me. I, I don't, I don't think they'll be able to actually interact with us on Facebook. We are just basically like, I don't even know how to explain. So like we're live streaming it, yeah. but the only interaction they're going to be able to have is if they're in the Zoom with us. Oh, I, I thought the way that it looked to me when I tried to do it, that there was commenting below in the At post. At least there's, it should, well, I maybe guess. Maybe not though. Maybe they can ask questions in a chat format or something. Maybe. But what last I night like, like, so I'm, I thought about yeah. trying it tonight and I was like, no. I think I'm yeah. just going to wait and see if we can, I might have to do like a test. We might have to do like yeah. a test, you know, and just be like, we, okay, anybody that yeah, wants to jump on. It when I do, when we do our uh, weekly with my coaching. Oh, okay. Um, so she the does it that way. That's inter the only people that are interacting are the people that are on the Zoom. So. Okay. Okay. The way that I was thinking it was the way that it looked when I started to do it. Cause I like hit the live. I thought mm -hmm. there was like, but maybe that was the Zoom commenting. That's probably what yeah, it was. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. Because I know that like, that's one of the things that Becky always says is I am going to live stream it. Um, so people okay. can watch it. So like, let's say maybe they're at work and they oh. really can't be on, but they could possibly have it so that they could watch. Um, but she did say that, but I really hope everybody's going to be on the zoom so that we can interact. Um, okay. And you then that makes, question. that's probably what so, it was then. That's probably what it was. Is I was kind of thinking it was like the Facebook part, but no, I bet you you're right then. I bet you that's, it was probably within the zoom. So, okay. Well, that's okay too, though. Yeah. We'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, either way, we can do a test run where like two of you guys are on yeah. Zoom and I could be we, on the thing and seeing what I'm, you know, we'll I have to test that, it we need the week before. Totally. Yeah, Honey, absolutely. If you have to leave, don't. I'm so sorry. Did she just, did they have to admit her or something? You don't know yet. Um, I don't know yet. I just got a call from the um, EMS department. They haven't actually transported her yet. And I don't know how. And then I had to contact my ex-husband because it's not my mom. It's my ex-mother-in-law that I take care oh. of. Mm -hmm. So um, I have to try to get him. So I've just been kind of communicating oh, sure. back and, and forth. So. Jump off if you need to. Absolutely. Don't, don't. That's way bigger, bigger important than this. So. <laughs> All right, so why don't we, I'm trying to think, because April, I don't, and Jess are new, so let's just kind of do a quick little, um, your name, where you're at, how many years you've been with PC, let's just do that so the newer girls can meet people, and is that Patty Washburn? Yes, it's me. Hey, hi, Patty, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good, good. Okay, Connie, you're in my you're in my top corner. So why don't you go first? <laughs> I'm Connie Hess, four years, and I live in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Okay. Jody. Jody Loveland. I'm here in Janesville, and I've been here a little over two years. Awesome, Dom. Uh, Dominie Hannes. I will be at my one year at the end of this month, and Yay. I live in Janesville, Wisconsin. Awesome. Lori. Oh, you're on mute, hon. Yep. Okay. Lori Reitz, uh, three and a half years, and I live in Oxford, Wisconsin. Kind of. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's back and forth. So moonlights in, in the she moonlights in Jadesville. <laughs> okay, Melanie. I am Melanie Lilliquist. I've been a year and a half and I'm in North Salt Lake, Utah. Awesome. Patty. Hi, 
Sorry. Hi, Patty oh, Washburn. Hi. I'm here. Uh, and I live in Green, New York. You've been like two years now, Patty, has it been? Uh, it's coming up on two years, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Sarah? Oh, you're on mute. Okay, there we go. Um, Sarah Cooter, Cambridge Chef, six years as a, at the end of this month as well. And I live now in Palatine, Illinois. Okay, in April. I think that's Kathy. We have an April Schreiber and a Kathleen oh, Schreiber. I just, th I thought, totally thought that that was like, April was using somebody else's name. Hi, Kathy. Sorry, I said April earlier. So Kathleen Hi, is, <laughs> or Kathleen, Kathleen, I'm sorry, joined under um, Patty. Awesome. Awesome. I did see that name come through too, like earlier, like yesterday, or was it on the page? And I guess I didn't even like think about that. So welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. And where are you from? I am from Portrait, New York. Okay. Awesome. And then Jess. Hi, I'm Jess. Um, I started at the end of November last year, and I am in Janesville, Wisconsin. Nice. Okay. And then Tori. I am Tori Steele. I live in Milton, Wisconsin, and I have been with Pampered Chef for like the year and a half. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm Kelly Moore. I have my 20th anniversary next week. So going into my 21st year, it's crazy. I signed up on St. Patrick's Day. So that's always kind of a fun thing for me. So um, I think it's kind of funny to know that three people on this page all signed up in March too. March is usually a big recruiting month. There's usually awesome specials, awesome stuff like that. So, you know, kind of remember that and make sure we're going to talk, you know, about the different things that we've got going on this month. So um, make sure you're kind of taking that into consideration because this might be a month that might be somebody's go-to month, okay? All right, so um, we have been talking for the last couple months now about some things um, and like specifically like Saturday success strategies. We are not really getting people to join the call anymore. So we just really want to have meetings that are going to be effective for you guys. And um, we've been kind of pondering on how to do that and working on some different kind of onboarding things. And it's just, you know, it's, it's difficult because we've got people all over and we've added directors to the team the last couple of months. And so then that, you know, it goes like, bloop, 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 you know, into these different places. So it's kind of crazy. Um, Sarah and Connie and Domini and Lori were able to go to a retreat last weekend in Minnesota. Um, I ended up having to cancel because of Graydon. So I didn't get a chance to go, but they learned some amazing, amazing things. And one of the things that they talked about at that retreat was, was she an executive director? Was it Kim? Okay. So Kim Nat, she's a or Gant, sorry, Gant, right? Is that how you say it? G, G A N. Gant. Gant. Yes. Okay. Gant. So she <laughs> is um, in Nancy Jo Ryan's downline, which Nancy Jo Ryan is one of the longest running consultants in Pampered Chef, and she has the biggest organization in all of Pampered Chef. She has like over, I want to say it's like close to 9,000 consultants on her team. So she's in a really great, you know, organization as far as her national exec. And so she had been um, asked to attend this retreat and do most of the trainings last weekend. And Sarah did a couple trainings too. So I'm really proud of her for that was stepping out of her comfort zone and going for it. Um, so I'm excited that to hear that that went well. And, you know, it's just one of those, it's like a doing it scared thing, right, Sarah? You just got to <laughs> yep. Scared. yep. So, um, so I, you know, they learned some great things. And one of the things that Kim does is she does her meetings like completely differently than we've been doing them. And I do think we need to kind of mix it up because we have 
a lot of people and not everybody can get on at one time. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to make sure that we're not having like weeks go by where we have connections with you guys. Um, so we're all going to try to first off um, have our own, I mean, which most of us have our own team page. I think Dom's the only one that still hasn't, um, I think she's working on that. Um, but everybody recognition is now going to be done within your own director team. Okay. So, um, that's, we just figured it's more effective for you guys to see the numbers that are going on in your own director group. Okay. So all of your recognition will be done on your team pages now and activity bonuses will be done through your director as well. So more people will have an opportunity to get an activity bonus. So what I think that's cool too. Um, am I missing anything on that girls? Have we talked about nope. that sound right? Okay. All right. So we are going to go to a weekly format for meetings. It's going to be Wednesday weekly check-ins is what they're going to be called. So they're not going to be like a typical team meeting. It's going to be like little tidbits of information that you're going to get on a weekly basis. And so if you miss one, that's okay. But we would hope that you would try to make as many in the month as possible. Um, we, we talked about like, we're not going to, well, we, we can't really record them, right? If we're doing the live thing. That's what we're kind of like, we're working out the kinks with that yet. So we don't, is that right, Sarah? They're not recorded then, right? No, because they're just, they should then stay on the page. The page. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so once you stream it live, it'll stay there. Stay on the page. Yeah. Yes. So we will, we'll do those on the org page. Like we do like our team, meet, like where I post the team meetings now. So those will still be on the bandwagon page because it's for the entire organization. It's not going to be me every week. We're going to give our directors, other directors, opportunities to train things too. And there might be at some point where somebody is doing something that's absolutely amazing. And we might want you guys to jump on and do something yourself. So that just makes us all better learners, better consultants, everything, you know, when we can all share with each other. So, um, I think that's going to be awesome. Kind of some of the kind of things that, so it's not going to be the same thing every week either. Um, it's not going to be just like one topic. Like we'll obviously talk about selling. We'll talk about recruiting and bookings. You know, bookings are always, you know, the one thing that we want to talk about a lot. And we're also going to be talking about things because some of us have been trying to work more on, um, I'm sure that you see a lot of it on Facebook and stuff now, but you know, the big thing now is social selling and attraction marketing. So that's kind of the big thing that we want you guys to learn different tips and tricks of ways to post that you're going to attract people that are like you that might be interested in this business. Um, so we want to, you know, we want to make sure that we're staying relevant with stuff like that too, and getting that kind of stuff out to you guys as well. Um, mindset and um, your skill, your will, your habits, your beliefs, all of that kind of stuff is going to be stuff that we're going to talk about too, because that all kind of goes with all of this. You know, if you don't, you know, we talk about the belief triangle and it's like your beliefs determine your actions, your actions, Richard, you know, determine your results and those results are going to confirm your belief. So we need to make sure that we're, you know, training on that stuff and reminding you. Um, one of the things like I have on my computer, you can't see it right now because I'm on my computer, but I have a sticker on my computer. And one for one thing, it says I'm a senior director because I definitely would love to promote back to that. But I also have skill, will, or habit. Like if I'm stuck on something, I have to stop and think to myself, is it because of a skill? Is it because of my will? Or is it because of a habit that I need to put in place? So it's like, just like those, a little reminder to myself. So those kinds of things, we'll learn little, you know, we can learn little skills from each other and, you know, systems will probably be something at some point too, because that's super important to have different systems in your business. Um, 
Anything that I'm missing on that, girls? Dom and Sarah? And that like category wise? No, no I mean, I, I, I think it'll just basically be based on our team and things that we need. Maybe we even take polls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think so too. Mm -hmm. what, what do you guys everybody, like? What is everybody needing the most from us right now? And there's a couple things that really st stand out to me that I learned. Number one is none of us is as smart as all of us. True. So I don't care if you're a consultant and you've only been in this business three months, yeah. or if you've been doing it for six years like me, there's a good chance that a three month consultant has learned something in Dash or has learned a technique that I'm not familiar with that and, could help me. And so we can all yeah. learn from each other. Absolutely. So it, mm -hmm. yeah, well, so I mean, the thing that's is, really big. The thing is too, is that like some of the consultants that are using table only, like yeah. we need to pick their brains and you know, what are they doing that's working and why are they liking table and who needs to make a switch, you know, who need, wants to make the switch or add it as an option, you know, because I think we need to really progress in that direction and work on table, you know, leaning towards table a little bit more too. They're trying to do some great things. And I just saw a post, I think it was yesterday, I think it was in the stir that said, I either saw it in a post or I saw it in stir. And it said that you can now batch post and table basically to multiple parties at once. So it's not hard to set up a table party, but yet it is if you have to, if you're going to do like four in one week to go in and do each single one of them. So that is a huge, huge plus. So they're constantly, constantly trying to in, improve the, the table format. So that's cool. Um, well, when we talk about these trainings too, um, it's not going to be an hour long or an hour and a half long of you got, you know, like listening to somebody sit and talk. Um, it's going to be literally like a 15 minute thing. And then there's going to be Q and A. So every single week, there will be time for Q and A that people can ask questions, even if mm -hmm. it's not relevant to exactly what we're talking about, but you're going to be able to be able to, ask, you know, ask questions. So, I mean, I just think right. that that's a really huge thing. And I feel like we're going to be more connected and um, just, I like that of mm -hmm. checking in every week and seeing whatever, what's working for people. If right. we're only doing once a month and let's say somebody's having a great month with uh, a party style that they're doing. Well, by the time we meet that next month, well, that's already gone. If right. we're meeting every week and somebody is doing something that is really working in their business, then let's all be doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, that was the thing that I really liked about Saturday success strategies is that you did have a director on a call every Saturday that you could ask questions to. So, you know, it'll be a different, we're going to be more doing trainings instead of the, the same, um, skills of running a party, booking, selling, recruiting or booking or booking host coaching and recruiting. It'll be different because it'll even be spread out to different topics. And like Sarah said, we could do polls and stuff like that and kind of decide how we want to do that. But yeah, so probably no more than 30 minutes. So it's not okay. going to be this daunting thing that you're like thinking that you're going to have to be in an hour or a two hour meeting, you know, every week because you're not. Um, we decided on Wednesdays for now. Um, Reason being is that you're kind of halfway through the week and then a lot of consultants that are either new or they work, then they kind of play catch up on the weekends a lot of times with their business. So it's like if we give them something to them midweek, then they have that weekend to kind of catch up and, and feel like they're have a little bit what of time time and, and process. Time. Um, yeah, we decided on 7 p.m. Central time. Just because we have East Coast, West Coast people, right. then it's still a little bit later in the evening, but like not too late for one or the other. So at least I hope that's how you guys feel. That's that's one of the things that's probably the hardest thing. But, you know, that's one of the things that hopefully you'll kind of learn through this is that 
you know, we talk a lot about deciding. And if you're going to decide that you want this business to work for you, you are going to find a way to make sure that you can be on those calls. That's what you're going to do to have a successful business is decide to actually do what you're supposed to do, you know? So um, we're also going to do um, a calendar on the page every month so you can see the calendar and see all of like I would always do with the meetings I would give you like you know the next things that were you know dates to you know important dates to remember but this will be like a calendar so then you can see it and bring it up um, it'll be like in a picture format so you can see what the topics are going to be um, and then if we have other things going on in the month um, we are going to still do recipe night this month, but we're going to talk still as a director team on how we're going to do that moving forward. Um, because we have had some consultants that feel, you know, you, you feel a little bit left out when you're not in the area. So we're, we've, we still, we're just gonna kind of work on that and try to figure out the best way to do it. Um, Cause it might be easier, um, because it's kind of hard when we're in a big group to go live at a recipe night because then there's chatter and there's flow and it just kind of just gets lost a little bit in translation. But if we decide to do it where a consultant's going to feature a recipe that night, then we could go live on the team page and do it like, you know, do it like that or do the Zoom thing, you know, if we find that that works really well. So we can do it that way. Um, so the, the calendar is going to be on there. Um, the first, oh, we are ahead. also going to be doing exclusive things for our new consultants that are in their first 90 days to yep. be at some extra support, um, kind of having all of our newer consultants know each other a little bit. So you guys can network, um, and help each other and kind of feel like when you start a new business, sometimes you kind of feel like you're all alone and it's super scary. And so we're hoping that some of that is going to help alleviate that. And it's always, I always say it's always more fun. Like if I could, you know, if I'm starting at a new job, but I'm starting with three other people, you just don't feel as silly when you ask a question right. or, you know, just different things like that. So mm -hmm. on those weekly, like, you know, check-ins the first half an hour we're going to have like some exclusive events uh for our new consultants and then that second half an hour will be kind of for everybody so um I guess then we need to decide too we'll have to decide if we're going to do it that way I guess we didn't talk about that like is the new consultant part from 7 to seven thirty, and then from seven thirty to 8 is that what we think we're going to do? Okay. So then the 730 would be, if you're not in your 90 days, you jump on at 730. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I didn't. Unless like, they you know, wanted to. I mean, right. which, just which because you you're not in your 90 days doesn't yeah. mean you can't. Yeah, join absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just like with the success strategies, I always told you guys, it doesn't, you don't have to be a new consultant. It's always good to have refreshers, but you might just want some more some more learning and find out, you know, sometimes, sometimes just people just want to go back to basics again. So that's what you'll get in those, um, that half an hour. Um, let me see here then. Okay. So this is, and Dom or Sarah, because I wasn't there to have, to hear her say it, let's talk a little bit about what this five for live is. Dom, you probably, you had it down, didn't you? Um, yeah, a little bit. So they have everybody join. Do I have background noise? I keep getting background noise from me when I talk. Um, so everybody that joins, um, if we join, everybody that joins live, if you stay for the whole thing at the end of it, then we do a spin for $5, a $5 gift card. And then we usually just do an Amazon gift card because then you can just send that and you don't have to mail anything. You don't have to worry about it. Those are so that just, it's just incentive to get everybody to join for the whole time because, you know, you join for the first like tidbit training for the first 15 minutes, but then the next 15 minutes is like Q and A and people are asking questions and you can learn from all those questions. You want people to stay on and join for those questions mm -hmm. because if they're not joining, 
then in a few hours, they're messaging you going, oh, what, how did we do that? I'm like, I literally just talked about that 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, we just talked about yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so five for live will be part of it. And let me see here. I think we'll have to figure out like that part between us. Right. Yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll figure it's that out. And whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got, we'll figure that out. Um, and then we are also going to do um, a Cinderella challenge for you guys, which is going to be, we really want to make sure that we're focusing on everybody being active with at least $150 in sales. But we also want you guys to not miss out on these amazing sales incentives that they give us every single month. So this month, for instance, if you um, get it's my mind just went blank. I have to look at the page quick. If you get yeah, I don't know what this change is. So seven fifty, you get thirty dollars in new spring products, and if you get fifteen hundred, it's one hundred and fifty dollars. In new spring products, which I believe it's June first that they will premiere. Um, Summer, yeah. So there's some, they actually they call them spring products, is what it said on the thing. That's really weird. Now that I said it says that's funny. It says summer, summer products. products, and then it says in the little info next to it, it says spring. It's supposed to say summer. That's funny. Oh, oh totally, somebody totally missed like, that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that didn't sound right. Yeah, in spring, it says $30 in spring products, $150 in spring products. And then it says, earn the new summer products now. <laughs> spring, summer oh products. Gosh. So, um, and Abby, we don't know what they are either yet. So I'm assuming that they'll announce what they are probably next month. I would say probably April. That usually, mm -hmm. that kind of seems like when they usually do that. Um, So... Okay, so Cinderella challenge, we will give you, it's, it'll be different, it won't be the same all the time. But you know, if we're seeing that a, peop, a lot of people aren't active, or if somebody's super close, and they're just not sure what to do to get themselves over the hump, um, you know, we're going to give some kind of a challenge to see if you guys can push, push through and get to the next get to that next level. Um, or even just get yourself active with 150, you know, if, if you're in, in risk of losing your career sales and stuff like that. So does anybody here on the call, does anybody have a question about what active means or inactive? Because I know sometimes when you're new, that all kind of is like, blah. So active is, kind of of pardon me? Yeah. yeah. I active, would run through it just real quick. Yeah, Active is having $150 in sales every single month. You do have a leeway that you can go inactive, but on the third month, you'll lose your career sales. Um, so it, it's kind of like every other month. But on that third month, if you didn't submit, you would lose, um, you'd lose your career sales. And career sales are important because... Um, there's different levels at which you can, you can give yourself a raise. You get recognized for career, um, career sales at home office and you get little pins and different awards that way. Um, so 15,000 is like your big, big, big one. You want to hit $15,000 in career sales because then you give yourself a 2% increase on your commission rate, which is huge. It's like, you're just giving yourself a raise. So you don't, you don't want to miss you know, you don't want to miss out on that. So, um, and then you can be inactive and, you know, sometimes people are, you know, don't worry about career sales and stuff like that. They're just in this for a hobbyist and want to do it very part-time. They really want to discount on the products. You have to it, submit at least $20 in a six month period. If you didn't submit anything for an entire six months, then you would be dropped as a consultant. So that's kind of how that, that, that works. So if you, anybody has any questions about that, just ask your director and they can help you with that. So, but, you know, we want you to be, uh, you know, earning everything that the company has to offer. So those sales incentives that they offer, they're always really fun and cool. I mean, like that, that new grocery bag is awesome that we got the freezer bag last month was, um, I loved it. Um, so every, you know, every month it's something different. 
and it's just, it's just fun to earn every, I don't know. I just get competitive with myself that way. I got to make sure I earn that. <laughs> that's, that's like always, that's always my goal. I want to get that. So, I mean, not my goal, but like, I want that stuff. Um, okay. So let me see here. I'm still going to do a Monday message on the, um, bandwagon page for everybody. So I will continue to do that just so we can, um, know what's going on in the action plan um, from home office and kind of the topics that they want us to bullet point with you guys each week, okay? Um, let me see. I think as far as that stuff goes, I think we got, I think that's all I had written down. Is there anything else that you guys, did I miss? You think so? Okay. You think it's good? Okay. If you think it's something, pipe in, okay? So um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit with you guys tonight about um, some tips from home office with um, some booking and some selling and some recruiting stuff. So um, I asked you guys to have a notebook out um, or some paper at least. And what I would really like you to do right now then is I would like you... I want you to set a goal for the number of parties that you want to have this month, okay? You know, think about what your goal is every month. Think about if it's an income level or um, if it's simply to earn the sales incentive every month. You know, what is your goal? So how many parties is it going to take you to get there? You know, some of you might still be in your 90 days, so you're earning fast track. So Kathleen is in that situation. Jess, I think you're out of that now, right? Because you said this fall, I believe you said when you joined. Yeah, uh, mine just ended on the 2nd of March. Okay, okay. So, you know, there's always kind of something, you know, if it's not, you know, if you're not a person that's necessarily driven by the dollar you want to achieve every month. Some people, that's not what they do this for. Still find something that's going to push you, you know, towards, towards a goal. You know, you want to have some kind of a goal to keep yourself um, going. So then you got, you got, you guys got your numbers written down. So now how many more do you need to book to achieve your goal this month? Do you think? Is everybody got exactly as many as they want? I just saw Dom cringe. <laughs> She's like, mm. <laughs> how's everybody feeling on that? If somebody, does somebody want to share what their goal is and what else they feel like they need to do to get more, or what else, how many more bookings they need? My goal is five and I have three. I need two more. Okay. All right. <laughs> so... One thing I'm going to suggest to you is that remember, or what we like to tell you guys to do is add two or four more, like maybe two for you. Try to think about adding two, two more extra kind of as like your safety net. Cause then that way, if you have a host that postpones or has to cancel or you've got like a little bit of leeway then and you'll still hit your goal. So we used to always do that too. Like if I wanted to do eight cooking shows a month when we, you know, when we were doing cooking shows, I would always try to book 10. That would always, that would always be my goal because I then, if something flops, somebody cancels something, I always had my little buffer um, for cooking shows that way. So, you know, some people with virtual parties, they try to do like four a week. Um, so then that way, you know, we talk about that a lot with, you to do four because, you know, one's going to be amazing. You know, one might cancel and two will be kind of in the middle or one might completely flop and then two are in the middle. So that's kind of why it's great to, to do four. And if you are doing one, it's just as easy to do four at the same time. You just have to have a little bit more, um, give yourself a little bit extra time for follow-up than you would with just one party. So, um, so think about that too, you know, try to maybe have your little safety net every month. Um, so let's share an idea of how 
what are some other ways that we could add parties to our calendar this month? Does anybody have an idea that's, or something that they've already done this work this month that's working for them? Well, I haven't done anything yet, but <laughs> it is my yearly. So it's my first year. So I would hopefully plan to do something by the end of the month and maybe do a shared rewards. It's also my birthday month. So there's a lot that I could really promote with that. Um, and I would really like to just put in, like put out something saying like, let's get 25% off, even though, you know, you have to make it to the 25% off for the shared rewards. So I would hope that I would make it there. But that I'm, I was thinking about that today about posting something about saying who wants to like try and earn 25% off and then see how many people I could get into that. And if I already have five to 10 people hopefully interested, then like I could promote it that way. And if I do come up a little short, you know, we only hit like 22 and a half, I could cover the rest, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you never want to be, you know, don't want, I don't want to encourage, you know, have to encourage anybody to try to like spend out of their own pocket, yeah. but sometimes that's what we do if we're super close. You know what I mean? Like right. you don't want something to go by the wayside. So I think that's an awesome idea. Um, a lot of people are doing the birthday bashes. So they're starting right. those at the beginning of the month or somewhere, you know, in the month they're asking who's everybody that has a March party. And then they do, a shared rewards party for all of those people like in their VIP page or they put it on a personal message and find out their friends that have March birthdays. You can even look up birthdays right on Facebook and send a private so, message. Go ahead. Definitely. One thing that I did learn from our retreat uh -huh. for sure is there is a gentleman there and whenever I send the birthday bash stuff, I always send it to all the ladies. And he said, that is extremely wrong. You send it to everyone. <laughs> yep. Everyone, Everyone. Yeah. he said there's a lot of men that will order mm -hmm. yep yes that's that's always a good point to bring up though because it's true some people just kind of un realizing exclude guys sometimes and it's like nope I do that I always do that and I'm not sure why <laughs> I don't know I it's, don't it, it is to cook. yeah I don't think I do it as much as I did probably when I first started you know like but I you know you even have guys and parties and stuff now too, you know? So it's like, yeah. you do have to kind of remember that, you know, a lot of, I mean, honestly, a lot of, I hear a lot of, a lot of times like at parties, people will be like, I don't do the cooking. My husband does. So it's like, I got well, to take the catalog home to my there's husband. Guys that, there's men that have their kids have time. They need quick dinners too. I mean, it's there, it's out there. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Um, anybody else after Dom went, does anybody else, we talked about the birthday bash a little bit. You could do, and a lot of people do those as a shared rewards party. So then it kind of gives like, it's like a prize back to all the birth or a, a present back to all the birthday people. And then they can invite people to join in on it as well. So that's kind of a, a fun thing to do. Um, anybody else have an idea for how to get some bookings on your calendar this month? or something that's been working for them the last couple months even? I was going to um, do for St. Patrick's Day um, a lucky giveaway to those that would book for April. Ooh, good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Are you planning on, or is anybody here planning on doing anything special for St. Patty's Day to do maybe like a live or something? I I'm going to do a live that day. Um, I've been trying to the lot. Well, over the last week, I've been doing a lot more of them, but I've also had a couple of giveaways going on one okay. that I've been running for four, four months and I just ended it. Um, so that, but that was a, a great big prize. It was one of the, the 10 inch stainless steel skillet I gave away. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, has anybody done a like meet the new products party like on their VIP page? That's something you could do too. And even if you haven't earned the products or you don't have them yet, we have wonderful pictures and videos and marketing imagery that you can just highlight them and feature them. You know, you could probably do them all in one day, you know, as a post like throughout the whole day. And then you could give a shopping link or offer an incentive for them 
um, to book with you. Um, so they, you know, them and their friends can enjoy it. So that's, you know, like a meet the new products or a spring, spring reveal or something, you know, you can always make it like a cute, cute, some kind of a name spring into the season, something like that. You know, you can do something cute like that. People Tell get so who. excited when the new stuff comes out. They just get like yeah. goo goo silly crazy about it. So, um, one of the things that's worked for me in the past, and I just mailed mine all out. I think it was last, last Wednesday or something, um, is I do the golden tickets. You guys have heard me talk about that a few times um, that I just put a message out saying there's a brand new catalog. Would anybody like a mini catalog? And then I include a golden ticket, not to absolutely everybody, especially if there's people that have had, had parties with me in just the last couple of months. But I do give quite a few of them because I want, you know, not everybody's going to contact you. But if they get a golden ticket and they book a party with me, in March or April, then they can get one of the new, I give them a free um, spring product. And I probably, what I'm gonna probably do this season is I probably am gonna add on that Dolce de Leche cake mix to their order as my freebie. So you can, I mean, you can do whatever you want, um, but that's probably what I'll do this season. So, um, so that's another thought, anybody else? I have a question. Yes, Joe. If you were going to do like a shared rewards or a um, meet the new products as you were talking, are you thinking that you would just create a group? Or are you just putting it on your VIP page with the link and just leaving it open? Yep, I have a standing hosting it like a party. Yeah, you would host it like a party. I probably wouldn't do this one as a shared rewards party because you're wanting people to book parties is kind of like the main okay. reason behind it. So I would probably just do have a link open. I have a, always have a link open on my VIP group though. I always have an open party link. I think Sarah does that too. You always have an open one, right? So I if tried anybody that for ever, a couple months and it worked really well. So yeah. 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 And I mean, the thing is, is that if you don't have enough to submit it as a party, you mm -hmm. can just leave it open and just change the dates on it for the next month. So I just kind of keep rolling it over until I have enough for a party or stuff okay. like that. Yep. Okay. I'm um, open the whole year and that's how I do a lot of Christmas gifts. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So mm -hmm. I, I, that's kind of what I, I don't necessarily, I, I guess I haven't necessarily done it for a whole year, but I've done it for months <laughs> before. And I, that's what I've done. It's like, oh, okay, now I need some of this. And so then I've used some of those, those reward dollars for that then you know some things that I need so um okay anybody else otherwise we'll go on to the next topic well one of the things we learned up there too is um like every month that we can incentivize something to book parties so one of the things that that Kim was talking about is even though we don't have the I can't remember what it was called even anymore, but it had like the spices, like the spice combo. Do you remember oh, when we had that? Yeah, like you can it make your own sale. little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She said, I, so for March, she's calling it March Madness. And every party that books gets her um, spice, pa I can't remember what she called it. Like a bundle or something, a pantry yeah, bundle, there we go. spice bundle, mm -hmm. um, or a seasoning bundle, uh -huh. and so that was her way of, you know, getting parties booked. And then, yeah. each, but each month, then she switches it out. Mm -hmm. That's cool because a lot of times I only really think to do that at the like the beginning of a season. So that's you could always kind of switch it up, and it doesn't have to be the same thing all the time. So and you can the nice thing when you call it a. Uh, you know, a spring pantry bundle. pack. She called there it spring it pantry pack. Okay. Perfect. So she said, then you can, you know, if it's, you get to decide. So if, if you're a newer consultant and you don't, you know, have a lot of the extra money to be giving away a uh, $25, you know, mm -hmm. it could be one seasoning. It could be a pack of the three, you know, Still meal mixes mix. or tap pad tie. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. So that yep, then yep. you can, and then she said sometimes she'll base her pantry set based on the party sale. 
So if it's a $200 party, then the host would get, you know, a seasoning. If it's a thousand dollar party, the host would get, you know, a bigger pantry set. So I kind of liked that idea. Yeah. I was kind of like with my cooking shows, I used to do, um, like if they had $150 in orders, by the time I got to the party that night, they would get to pick any rub for free. That was like, that was like my incentive for them to work hard before the party even started, you know? So, um, so yeah, that's, that's cool too. And that's the thing too, is sometimes you have to think out of the box like that. We don't have to always do exactly what the company's doing. As long as you're representing the company in a professional manner and you're not doing stuff that like raffles and different things like that, because we're not supposed to be doing that kind of stuff where you actually have like somebody like, I'm just using like March Madness for an example. It's not like you could make us like a chart and pick <laughs> like a bracket and charge $5 for a line on the bracket. You can't, you can't do that because that's like running a raffle, but you could do anybody that participates can win blah, blah, blah. You know, you can do anything extra that you want. It doesn't always have to be what the company's offering, but it is very nice how much stuff Pampered Chef does for us because there's a lot of direct selling companies out there that those consultants pay for all of those incentives out of their pockets. And we don't really have to do that if we don't want to or don't have the means to do that. So it's, it's very awesome how much they fork out for us including I always kind of forget too. like you know we don't pay credit card fees a lot of the companies out there they have to pay the credit card fees and we don't have to do that so they run all the cards for us so okay so so that hopefully that'll kind of help you guys with some booking ideas okay anybody else have another question about that okay all right so talk a little bit about selling, which obviously selling is going to help with our bookings too, if we're doing things on our VIP pages and different things like that. So let's kind of brainstorm a list of people who you know are going to want the new products. Like who are those people that always want to see the new things? Like, have you written those people down? You know, and think of people too, that um, you know, about a product that could be like, uh, like a cross seller to another product that, you know, they already have, like, for instance, somebody that has the stainless steel cookware and you know that they have all three pieces. Don't you think that they probably would want the eight inch? Probably. Yeah. So think about those people though, you know, think about that. So write down your list of who you can think of for some of those things. You know, some, you know, something that they want to add to their collection or, you know, even some of those people, I know we have the, the, the DMC now, however, we have a lot of people the last year that bought a quick cooker because it was on sale a whole lot of times. And those accessories were not all available. Those accessories all still work in the quick cooker. So I know my aunt, for instance, um, she was super excited. She would, they were down here. My aunts were down here last week. We went to um, a play together and my aunt just got the quick cooker a couple months ago and she wanted the ceramic pot well we didn't have it and she's like well I said I kept telling her if I ever see it come in the outlet or if I find out somebody I know has one I'll get it for you well now she can get it because <laughs> it's back in the catalog so I'm excited about that so some of those things that people you know that's one of those things too like that's a good thing to keep lists about things like that that people might be looking for you know, you can make like a little notes in your phone or something and kind of keep a list on things that people are interested in. So, okay. So does anybody have someone that they know is going to like a certain thing? Or you're going to reach out to? Like just I've had a couple people, have an example. I've had a couple people talk to me because I've posted about making homemade yogurt in the new DMC. You've been doing that like amazing. Like, they're like, um, 
I want to know about the yogurt maker. I go, it's not just a yogurt maker. And I'm more than <laughs> happy to tell maker. you about that. But that is what I'm obsessed with right now. I was so like, I'm intrigued and I would almost love to come over and have like a spoonful of it. Cause I want to see what it tasted like when you put that oatmeal creamer flavor. What, cause what, what flavor was it? Oatmeal it's called oatmeal cream and it's like those oatmeal cream cookies that you can yeah. buy those little Debbie ones. The yogurt just has the slightest wonderful hint of like cinnamony oatmeal to it. And when um. you put berries on top of it, it is so thick and amazing. You, I can't even tell you how much I love all of yeah, it. I, this- I have to make Greek cause I love Greek yogurt. So like, I well, love the thicker, the better that's so I have to when do you that. Use, well, here's what I've learned. When you use the blender bag to drain the whey out of yeah. it, turn it inside out because it has all those seams and the yogurt oh. gets caught in it. So turn it inside out when you do it. And then your seams are on the outside and it doesn't get bothered. Oh, that's a Learn that. good, learn <laughs> super good tip. Super good tip. Okay. Anybody so Jody, else? Have some- Jody, you are socially selling. Yep. Try. That's what you're doing. You're doing, yeah. you've been doing fantastic. You have I've been fantastic. To, I've made it a goal to try to do one really big thing a week and then a couple things every day because I know I lack. <laughs> well, and the thing is though, is Good. that the other thing that I love about the things that you've been doing is that you're showing people like how you're prepping and making it easier being a single mm-hmm. person being a full-time working person that has to work out of town, you're giving people so much knowledge in their lives. You're giving people solutions and that's exactly what we need to be doing. So that's exactly, you're doing a perfect job. I love it. And you've been giving me some ideas. (laughs) My goal this year was to be better. So yeah, you're doing fantastic. And I love it that I saw that you're going to go to conference. So I was like, yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. I I love it. So awesome. Okay. Anybody else have something about one of the new products that they know that they want to try to get in touch with somebody about it? I mean, like, how about like that secret center cake pan? Do you have somebody in your sites that you know would love that? I have like six people that are just like Mm -hmm. bakers and love all that crazy stuff. I mean, honestly, to me, Secret Center Cake Pan, anybody that has bought a numbers and letters cake pan set from you, you need to be calling and telling them we have this new awesome pan because they probably are in love with the numbers and, and um, oh God. letters cake pan. In my sister-in-law, we were at my niece's birthday party this weekend and we were talking about that pan because she made Evie's cake with the numbers and letters. She turned 18 and um, she goes, yeah. And she's like, I saw, cause Steph had, she had given her a mini catalog and she's like, and I saw that secret cake pan. And she goes, look at this thing. And she brought out this cake pan that she got for Evie like a few years ago. And like, you could take just like a store-bought cake and you could, it was like a tube that you would cut through the middle so you could fill it. But then it also had this other tube that went in there and it had like a crank. It was almost like a jack in the box. So then something could like jump out at you. It was, it was really cool, but then she goes, but we did it once and I don't feel like I could ever do it again. Cause like, she already knows the, that it does that. So, so she likes the idea of, she's like, that one just makes me, cause I could fill it with different things or we could do it with the pieces. And I'm like, yeah, so there's a lot of, I just thought that was really interesting that there was like even something like that out there. So you know, it was crazy. So anybody, anybody else have something about who they think they can contact. I think anybody that packs their lunch could use those reusable sandwich bags. And I've that, been buying them on meter. Amazon forever. And I haven't bought baggies in such a long time. I'm so glad we have them. Yeah. <laughs> um, in those containers too, with the cutting board. Yes. Like that's super cool. If you're, you know, going to work and stuff like that. Um, I was actually just going to say that about the reusable bags. Um, I have a, a pilot wives group for Sky West Airlines that I run. We've got about 700 wives in it right now. And uh, as soon as I saw those bags come out, I'm like, this is perfect 
for our pilots that go on three, four day trips to be able to put stuff in and it's not going to be like a huge container, then they only need to take one container to heat their meals up in their hotel rooms Mm -hmm. would be a lot, a lot more space saving. (laughs) Yeah. So I was really excited. I will be getting probably three or four of those sets just for my pilot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about the bag, Melanie? Yeah. The reusable bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought, and I just was really surprised how large the large one was. I was like, oh, it's, it's bigger. Like I was expecting it to be smaller than that. So I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of cool. So I'm just, I haven't used them yet. So I have to kind of feel like how they're going to clean though. Cause I did buy um, Q and always used to take her lunch when she was in school and I had bought some different ones, not like that though. They were more like the ones that were made out of that, um, like washable material. Oh, and then yeah. they like, but like I got them at like some craft fairs. They were hard to clean. Like I could put them in the dishwasher, yeah, yeah. but they were hard to clean. So I'm hoping that these clean up nicer, which I think they will. So, um, has anybody used them and had to run them through the dishwasher yet? I don't have a dishwasher. I wash mine by hand that's and right. they washed up nice. That, Jode. I just really, sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. They wash up really nice. And I just hang them upside down over a glass and let them drip dry. They, they dry nicely and they look great. Good. Cool. Yeah. I did use my orange one for the sous vide and it does have a smell to it after using that garlic oil in it. Sarah did suggest oh. that I try and use like a baking soda paste to try and get the smell out. I haven't tried it yet. But I did yeah. wash it like three times and it the hasn't come other, out yet. The other thing to kind of remember from like that silicone seal from the quick mm-hmm. cooker, um, they also yeah. too would say like put it in the freezer or sometimes even, well, even to shrink it, you could do freezer or put it out in the sun. But I've even heard that some of like putting it out in the sun sometimes will help with that too. So, but yeah, yeah so baking soda bacteria. or vinegar, maybe even too. I know I thought that um yeah. I did want to say though too like those containers with the cutting boards so Jim loves to take a sandwich but he hates to put tomato and stuff on it because it will it's like soggy. it gets soggy and gross by lunchtime so he'll he's he'll put his sandwich in there and then a tomato and bring a knife and then cut his tomato and oh, eat his lunch, lunch awesome mm, nice so. that is awesome very cool very cool Okay, so let's go on. Let's talk a little bit about recruiting and then I'll get you guys off of here. So uh, here, let me get onto this page. Okay, so who was as shocked as me <laughs> that we had $25 again? I felt like a big old fat liar, <laughs> like in winter fest because Sarah and I were like, no, they'll never, ever, I should never, ever say stuff like that because you just never know what's going to happen. So, um, but what do you guys think about the sign on gift with the numbers and letters cake pan? That's pretty awesome. Isn't it? I don't recall them ever doing anything like that, that I can remember. I'm pretty Um, excited about it. Yeah. So you, that's what you really need to do is create a sense of urgency around that. If you have the pan, you know, even if you guys don't need a cake, maybe make a cake this week <laughs> and, and use it and show them how awesome it is and that everybody needs to have one. And um, I suppose it's I could make another cake. Well, you know what? I would eat a cake anytime. So that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. Same. Same. <laughs> right. I'm like, yep, that sounds good. I'll have some. Yes, I'll have cake. No, I'm just kidding. That's my problem. Um, and then, you know, we've got one month left till the 31st. Flex plus for free when they qualify in their first 30 days. That is huge, you guys. Like yeah. huge, huge, huge. For a $25 kit, you can get the Flex Plus for basically 25 bucks. So that that is incredible. Um, there's so much you've, I mean, there's so much too. There's the pack of Palooza is still going on. So you can earn suitcases when you qualify people in their first 30 days. Um, there's obviously recruiting, you know, the cash bonuses and the fast track rewards when you recruit and then your recruit recruits. So, you know, talk about that stuff too. And they've got a great opportunity to recruit right out the gate running with a $25 kit. They can always host a party themselves to get more product. You know, that's the thing. 
And anybody that's on this call that has been with Pampered Chef for a while and has got had recruits in the past and maybe they've dropped off, contact them again. This might be the perfect time. You know, they might think, oh, especially even with like um, the fact that we have like table now. I have one girl that she didn't really like she wanted to do the cooking shows and it kind of was at the the 2020 when everything kind of fell apart and she just really doesn't want to didn't want to do parties on Facebook so I'm talking to her more about doing you know come back and try it on table 25 bucks what do you have to lose if it still doesn't work out 25 bucks you know it wasn't you could you can earn the flex in the meantime um so the I'm sorry so the 25 dollars if you sign up in March is still going it's through, through the 31st, yep. Until the 31st of yep. March. They extended it. So I'm talking so. to a girl right now that just joined my launch party and she used to sell Pampered Chef. So I'm trying to get her to come back. So oh, awesome. tell her 25 bucks. Yes, 25 bucks. And you know, the thing is, is like I just said, I don't know how long ago it was that she sold it. So she, she may be wanting, you know, more products and she could always get one of the other kits. It's not that somebody couldn't. But for $25, she could join and then she could have her own launch party and just earn some products that way. So right. it's not really, to me, it's still like win-win big time. It's not, you're not really losing out on anything because you can have a, you know, you, as a consultant, you can host your own party at any time. So she can- well, and be sure, to, be sure to offer it. it. What? Sorry, be sure to offer it. Any host that you have that hits $200 gets a $25 credit. They get it for free. And yeah. then they also get the cake pan. Yep. So, I mean, that's yeah. where I'm so at they're right getting now. a bonus. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're yeah, getting I'm talking bonus. to her now. So, Yay. awesome. <laughs> awesome. And if, if so, you need any help with words and stuff, Kathleen, one of the best things that you can do is screenshot. Um, and Sarah would be your upline director. You I mean you can reach out to any of us, but you could screenshot it if you're not, if Patty wasn't sure about what to say either, screenshot to Sarah and Sarah can kind of help you with the words on how to answer her. Okay. Don't yeah. hesitate. Don't hesitate to do that. Okay. Um, okay. So we want to, you know, create a, you know, a sense of urgency around that numbers and letters cake pan, because that's not, you know, we get a ton of stuff in fast track. But that's even another bonus that they're giving us. Then we've got the flex and then we've got Packapalooza. And then if they submit $1,000, they're going to end up getting the or, um, $750 and then $1,500. They're going to get the summer products. I mean, this month has got so, so much stuff that they can add that's normally not there in a month of recruiting. Okay. Um, okay, so... I want you guys to set a recruiting goal. And what I want you to do is I want you to share your recruiting goal with your director because exactly what we were just talking with Kathleen about, we want to be able to help you with those words. That's the hardest thing about learning how to recruit is what do I say when they ask me this? It's like you get, it's so nerve wracking, but yet you don't want to like, throw up all over them and be like, and you can get, blah, 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 you know what I mean? And that, then that gets just like super, super overwhelming. So way, the easiest thing, the way easiest thing to do is to, is to screenshot things. Lori, Lori was amazing. Lori Reitz was amazing at that. She always does a great job. Kathy Pingle always does a great job with that too. And, um, you know, you sometimes just get flabbergasted by what somebody might ask <laughs> like and you're just like I have no idea how to answer this so reach out to us and we'll do the best we can to help you with the words um but make a goal because it's such an awesome opportunity this month um you know start with people that you know and then people that you know that love pampered chef people that are always like commenting on your vip pages and stuff like that you know put that little bug in their ear, you know, send them a private message and just say, Hey, I saw that you commented on blah, 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 blah. You know, you always make such great comments on my page. Have you ever thought about doing something like this? You know, just make it a conversation. That's the easiest way to think about it is try not to put so much pressure on yourself and just 
act like you're talking to somebody, just having a little conversation with them. Um, here, let me see here. Um, I want to make sure, because there's some confusion with some people, that there's the start up kit is the $25 kit. Then there's the starter kit, which is the smallest kit. So make sure that when you're talking to them, you're talking about it to them in the same, the right, the right way. Because I know like Sarah had, Sarah had that come up last month during Winterfest when we were doing that. And she was like, I can't even find what's in the kit. And luckily I had saved like a screenshot of the um, kit contents. And so it kind of said, okay, this is the startup kit. So um, just make sure that you're aware that there's two that are, I don't know, I kind of like, why did they do that? Because <laughs> it caused like confusion. But um, start up kit is the paper up work kit. And then the starter kit is the smallest kit in the packet or in the kit options. Um, well, a lot of times they, when they do these, you know, starter kits or start up kits, they get rid of that starter kit. Yes. And, and they it didn't kind of replaces, time. right. So that's what I was most confused about is why am I still seeing a starter kit? Mm -hmm. So then I was thinking, oh gosh, what did I do? Are, is that not <laughs> supposed to be there? Like, is it, is that truly now like the 20, I don't know. It was, yeah, it just got confusing. Yeah. Yeah. When you're doing reach outs or when you're talking to people too, like the biggest thing to remember is to kind of explain to them why you thought of them. Like, why did you think that they would be good for Pampered Chef and what they think this business could do to help them. And I know we've talked about this. I probably have mentioned it every month, the last few months, but I love the phrase that a consultant gave in a training a few months back, and it was asking somebody, or even yourself, if you're trying to talk things out, what do you want this business to do for you? So what do you think that they would want this business to, you know, you know that they're struggling with this, or they've got a lot of credit card debt, or they've, they're, no, they have tons and tons of student loans, or they're a teacher and they'd like to make some extra cash in the summer you know, what could this, what could this business do for them? You know, making it about them, not about you and, you know, taking you out of the fact, out of the, the factor of it, you know? Um, so those are the things, you know, just create, create enthusiasm about your business on your pages, go live, talk about your products and just, you know, tell them and explain to people how much fun you have doing this. And those are going to, you know, you're going to start to attract people that way then. Okay. Um, let me see if there was something else on here. <laughs> nope. Then Packapalooza. So Packapalooza will run till the end of May, May 31st. And you qualify for luggage when they qualify, excuse me, in their first 30 days. So there's the three different pieces of luggage that you can earn in Packapalooza. So if you click on, I believe it's under the explore tab on consultants corner, I think Packapalooza comes up on there and you can read more about it. So does anybody- I guess they had to qualify in the 30 days. I was thinking they had to qualify in the first 90. So oh. I missed that. Yep, it's 30. New consultants yeah. must qualify in their first 30 days or by June 30th, obviously, if they start in May or something. Yeah, whichever right. comes first. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so then recruit one, recruit and qualify three new consultants to earn the first bag, recruit and qualify five new consultants to earn the second bag and seven to earn the third bag. But they all have to be in their first 30 days. I've gotten some PC luggage before and it's usually really nice. So <laughs> it's kind of fun. We do, they do give us a lot of bags. I will tell you that they do, <laughs> but they're fun to have. <laughs> so anyway, okay. Who has questions? Anybody have questions about anything? I know we kind of went over and 
And obviously we'll be talking more over the next couple of weeks about the different changes that are gonna take place. Um, we Oh, the one thing I wanted to tell you too is we are going, because we're not gonna start this till April, we are, because we had some people on the call like last weekend and stuff, we are gonna finish the success strategies the next three weekends for March. So we'll finish out that in case anybody does want to still continue and, and get in those calls. So we will still offer that. We are still going to have recipe night next Wednesday at my house. I have to put the invite up for that. We want to do that one as um, new recipes out of the season's best because we had to cancel that last month with um, my son getting sick and stuff. So um, and, you know, I hope that we can have a lot of people attend because I really would like to see a variety of recipes being made, but we are for sure going to try the sous vide fun function so we can see that in action. I know Brandy has been using that thing a lot and she seems to be loving it. So yeah, I've done the eggs. I like that. Somebody said this morning, I think it was this morning or yesterday morning on one of the pages, Grace Bot, she cracks me up. She's out in Pennsylvania. She's like, I made those sous vide bites and I didn't even wait. I just did them on the steam setting because I couldn't wait. I didn't want to wait that long. <laughs> she said they turned, she said they turned out awesome on the steam setting. So I was like, hmm. I know. So I was like, she's like, they still were super creamy and awesome. So I was like, wow. So I thought that was super funny. So um and so I don't have no idea how long it would take on the steam setting versus, I don't know. The big thing about the sous vide setting is it's got to sit for like two hours, right? So um, that's, it, Dominique, that's going to be your reminder next Wednesday is to remind me to set my sous vide stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I remember to set, start the water. Like, <laughs> I got to remember to do that. Yeah. I think we'll do, wasn't there, didn't we decide that there was like a pork roast one? Yeah, there's like a tenderloin or something. Yeah, so I think we'll I think we'll just do that one. Three and a half pounds. It was hard for me to find that right. Three and a half amount. pounds. Does, and does it? That's the thing. Is yeah. One you gotta, oh, four and a half. Oh, one it really? Yes, you little. Do more than one. You just can't. There? I put them in separate. Can I buy bags. a three pound one and cut it in half? Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Maybe that's what I'll do. We'll see how many people are coming first. So. So yeah, anybody have any questions? Yeah, uh, Sarah, I'm just wondering, does Kathleen still qualify for the letters and number pan being that she joined the end of February? No, that's a March thing. Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure if they had that, you know, where we still have a few days in the next month. Nope, it's just a March special. Okay. Whatever those specials that they have, they start on the first and they end on the thirtieth yep, or thirty first or twenty eighth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always like, and we never specific. know what the yep. we never know what they're going to be until the first of the month. Right. Because yeah. really, it's always a good time to join. You just might end up having um, an extra bonus. Yeah. I did want to say we were talking earlier and we were talking about like things that they do for like booking bonuses and stuff like that. Um, one thing that that um, Kim did say she said try and look forward to the following month like so there's not a whole lot going on in April that we can kind of work off of but to like sometimes you can really work off of what the following month is to try and get people to book mm -hmm. and then get like parties to book off of those because of what you're using as an incentive yeah use your your host special you know that's the biggest thing is using your that's host great. special and like holidays are another or, you know, great way to feed off the things or special things like St. Patty's Day, stuff like that, you know, feed off of that kind of stuff as much as you can. But yeah, always be looking ahead because, you know, you're constantly need to be in booking mode constantly. So you need to, you know, I, I like my comfort zone to be where I'm booked out a month ahead of time. <laughs> that's, that's what I always like. Um, I find that works a little different with in the virtual world. Cooking shows, you were always seeming to get bookings out farther you know virtual parties they can be like yeah I want to start next Friday so it's like right, right. It, it's definitely been um different to get used to that so sometimes you don't have you know you got to be on your feet thinking but yes using that monthly host special can be a great way to to kind of get things rolling um she also did 
Um, Sarah, do you remember, like she was saying something about, like, so when the 60% off was going for this month, she would like come up with something, or so she talked about the stoneware for February and she's like, you can earn the stone bar pan. I'll give you this for free. So she like just picked something that was that she did it or well so she would give it for free at the 60 percent off she would pay the difference obviously as it being for free if they wanted to upgrade to a different stone then they would pay the difference if they wanted to upgrade but like she played it off like that like not just like 60 percent off select stoneware she was like more specific and was like you get the stone bar for free like i don't, I don't yeah know. She would pick, yeah there used to be a girl in Iowa that would always have these different this and this was years ago but she would always have like these different like coupon sales going on for her business like always like it would be like buy this get that did it you know like she was doing that years ago and it was just like and that's how she would get a lot of her bookings and stuff like that because she'd be like if you book for this I'll give you this you know like no she just had like it was amazing. So you can always offer extra stuff if you want to, but don't ever mm -hmm. feel like you have to do that. But yeah, it's definitely people are, you know, the carrot dangling in front of them. It's a world, that's the world we live in. <laughs> so I mean, people like, people like free, people like free stuff. So, so yeah. Free stuff, yeah. 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 So anybody else, otherwise I'll let you guys go. Okay. Does anybody want to say how many shows they're going to book by the end of the month? <laughs> Down <slightly. laughs> 16. I'm also, I'm trying to do that every other month. And ideally, if, if you're doing four every month or every week, ideally, if that's, you know, a perfect world, that's 16. And that's, well, and I mean, obviously, like, so let's say one doesn't happen. So I'm thinking like 12 in my head. So I'm like, okay, so if I can try and book 12 and I can actually get 10. So I want five going every other week would be ideal. Yeah. Is that what you decided I, you're doing I, is every other? Mm -hmm. And That's I have how Lori's doing that head. too, right? Oh, I don't know. I thought that's what Laura was doing. Lori, are you on? She's got to find the unmute. <laughs> She's there. I see her. I see her name. <laughs> I think that's what she's doing. So okay. where she does all of her okay, parties like the first that. week and, and then she does follow up with them, it. all those parties the next week. And then the following, then the third week she'll do oh. more parties. Trina Lutsky does that too. Like she just feels like she has better control over it. Hi, Laura. Can you? Okay. I, I, I don't know what happened. I still can't. We, I think you just well, went we go. like having a glass of yeah. wine or a martini with Larry or something. <laughs> no, I was folding laundry and <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just starting to do that. Okay. That's what I thought. Oh, you said okay. you were so do. just like this month, but so you're going to do like I'm the first week and the third week. Yeah, yeah. So, so I we'll started it last month or the month before, and I, like, I get like right now. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of nervous where I'm at with numbers. But then, like, you remember, you have to. You know, the parties are coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long as they all work. I mean, if they don't, then I mean, it could be troublesome. But we'll see when I get there. I guess. Yep. And just yep. be always putting feelers out and always, you know, you've always got those people to follow up with from your 30, like, you know, it's been a month, you know, you want to check in with them to see if everything's out of the box, all that stuff, or even I'm trying to think like another one too, is even to go back like to people like, cause you're at about that spot now, Dom, where you've almost been in business a year. So you can go back with mm -hmm. to all the people that you hosted with, with last March and last April, check in with right. them. And maybe you can generate some rebookings from that or, oh, I really have liked this now. Maybe I'll have a party now, you know, from those. So you can right. start doing some of those year follow-ups now too. I and actually again, chatted. I went to the grocery store today and I chatted with the lady and I was like chatty, chatty. And I'm like, I should say something, but I chickened out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
That's why you have to have a PC shirt on. Then it just brings up the conversation. I need yeah. more of them. Yeah, I know. I did have my bags. I had my bags. Good. But it wasn't, wasn't enough. I haven't taken my bags out to the store store yet, though, because I have Ooh. been doing too much online grocery shopping and they deliver it to me. So, <laughs> Sarah, it's nice to. You've been busy. Yeah. When you're busy, it works. Yep, it does. So, okay. Well, I will let you guys go. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for the adjustments in my poor child's. <laughs> schedule hopefully we're going to get that figured out um we go to the neurologist next week and so are you going to that my inspection something? goes good please <laughs> so, it'll be so silly yeah um where can we go in pampered chef to see where when a taste bud subscription is ending so you would go into consultants corner and on the far left side, it should, there should be a spot that says my subscriptions. Okay. And click on there and it should look, it, it should, everybody should be listed there that you have that of subscriptions. Okay. And if for some Perfect. reason, you're still not getting your answer. Just call the solution center. And I found it. That. Okay. Thanks. Yep. You're welcome. Yeah. Sometimes navigating around the websites when you're, you know, Sometimes I just click on things to look and see. <laughs> well, I do. Cause like I found that new consultant thing today we were talking about. I'd never seen that before. Right. So <laughs> that's like something new I learned. I clicked on something today and I was like, look at this. So yeah, <laughs> Are you going to put something out there for recipe night about like who's bringing what kind of stuff? Yeah. I'm going to have to send out an invite. So then I'll, okay. we'll do yeah. that. So. I mean, that's no problem. I just didn't know if I was missing something. Nope. I got it. I said, I've got to send out the invite now. So um, okay. I will do that since we're a week out and hopefully we'll get more people that can come this time because it would be nice to have a variety of different things. And I, of course, really would like to make the cake. I want to see how it works. Not yes. that I need to eat the cake, but yeah. And then Sarah, you're going to let us know about yeah. if you're coming or not, right? Okay. Yep. Good. All right, ladies. Thank you guys so much. And gentlemen, even though we don't have any of them, I'm going to try to not just <laughs> Yeah, ladies and there. gentlemen, it's like <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, just kidding. Daryl is in the other room. He's not really always a gentleman, though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but okay, we know. No, I'm just yeah, right, exactly. Um, so yeah, just I'm gonna I'll put this up as a recording, but then I will we'll do a we'll do a pre-test of the Zoom live before we do the first April one. So just remember on your calendar. When every Wednesday, 7 p.m. on the organ on the bandwagon page. Okay, that's how we're gonna roll. Well, we're gonna be on Zoom. There'll still be a Zoom link yep. for everybody to click on to and yep. just like normal. But yep. okay. Yep, that so that'll still all be posted. I'm not I'm not, but we kind of decided not to do an event though, right? Yeah, yeah I have to think about that. We'll have to think yeah, about have that. To. Maybe for the first couple weeks until people get yeah. in the habit yeah. of every Wednesday at seven and that's the like pre thing or the pre thing is at six thirty. Did we we'll decide that? that? Okay, sorry. Okay, that's no, okay. <laughs> and we'll expect an invite for at least the first week. Probably at least a couple until we get the hang of it. Okay, say the first couple, yep. Okay, that okay. sounds good. We're kind of winging it, girls. We have to kind of try to we have to kind of feel it out as we go here and see how things are going to go. Good, so. but it takes time. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can't be too rigid. <laughs> right. I know, but you know, it's, I, we got it's going to change things up. Well, and it's, yeah, we just, I think it's more consistent contact with you guys, I think is going to be much better. So, okay. And I, and we finally have a big enough director team that can, we can do something like that where I, we have extra help. So, so yeah. We're going to try. Yeah. Got it. Right do it scared. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So, okay, guys, you guys have a great night. Thanks and for I will talk to you guys soon. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.